Welcome back to Messages from the 90s. So, it's a little different because this is a recording. Y'all, life been life and it's been life in from electrical issues to everything else. So, right now, I'm doing a recording, just um, a voice recording, just because video might have issues with it, might not, whatever. So, we're going to make it do what it do. But um, what I will do if I get a chance later is do a reading, a carpool. We'll have to see. But not going to let stuff stop me. I hope you're not letting stuff stop y'all. So first things first, um, I've been getting a lot of... Uh, downloads I wouldn't even say downloads I really I don't even know why I use that word but stuff has been popping out since I did that uh shinobi reading so um first things first if this resonate and I repeat these at the end if this video um video i guess because it still is going to be a video you just can't see me and i'm not pulling cards but if this resonates in any type of way you may need to regardless of your your religious background you just may need to read psalms 138 through 140 and I was brought to 139, the very end verse. But if you don't know by now, I am the type to go back and read everything before and after. So if this in any way resonates, then please go and read Psalms 138, 139, and 140. The entire chapter is not that long. The entire chapters is not that long. Um, but it may be what you need. Anyways. So that Shinobi reading I did was basically about somebody going through a lot of things in life, a lot of ups, downs, turmoils, um, problems, childhood traumas, teenage traumas, adult traumas, and really growing through that and keeping the same heart posture, the same character. Um, and it's not to say that they didn't do bad things or that they were a perfect person because nobody is perfect. But this person managed to survive and thrive in the midst of life, right? 338. So I have been getting that energy a lot for the past week and it's just been certain little things that have been popping out and I don't necessarily know if this is for a particular sign or not this is just general this is for whoever needs to hear this But, um, so, so much stuff in my head. Let me start off by saying that I feel like there's a force. Now, whether this is an actual person, whether this is a, um, what's the word an entity whether this is darkness himself 
um, your family member, your spouse, your kids, your boss, your coworker, whatever this is, a friend, an enemy. I feel that I feel like there is somebody who is obsessed with taking you out, taking you down. It's, in a way, it's a competition, but you aren't aware of the competition. It's kind of like you're outside, you're doing your own thing. Um, but this person is like obsessed, like they're trying to prove a point. And I don't know if it's, to themselves, to you, to God, to darkness himself. But it's they're trying to prove that they're better. So this came from a lot of things have been popping out lately. So this came from uh Avatar. If you haven't seen Avatar on Netflix, it's pretty much the Avatar that <laughs> is always been. Um, just updated version. But when I started watching it, it just kept popping out. And it was like a blaring sign or whatever around Zuko, Prince Zuko, who is the fire prince and firebender. And he was obsessed with finding the avatar now the thing is he was sent on this mission to find the avatar but it was like unexpected he wasn't supposed to find the avatar right so that's kind of what stood stood out um one of the things that stood out was that he it was a, a means of trying to prove something. And to him, it was him trying to prove something to his father um, or the king. So in this person's case, it could be somebody they look up to. It could be their father. It could be somebody they hold in high esteem. Um, I'm not saying this person is a fire sign, but because it was a fire bender that this kind of stuck out with. It was more so that, but I wouldn't, I'm not going to for say, for sure say that it's a fire sign. It could be anybody. Signs really don't matter. It's the person's character. This person is willing to do anything and everything to capture and take down the avatar that they, that he don't necessarily know exists. But he finds out this avatar does exist, right? And so once he realizes this person is this person, now I'm even more gun ho to take this person down. I have to take him down. I have to capture him. I have to sit him down. And I feel this energy so strongly. Like somebody is like... I know who you are, so I have to stop you from being who you are. Like, you can't be the avatar. You can't have this great power in you. You can't be the one to change the world. You can't be the one to save everyone. Meanwhile, the avatar, you or the other person, you could be the one that's Prince Zuko and trying to stop obsessed with trying to stop somebody or one up somebody to prove who you are. Meanwhile, the avatar is unaware of his power. It's like he's even in a different timeline than he should be in. He's so the old soul in the in the in the young body. So you could have a a, a old soul, you could be young. Um 
but I feel like you have an inner power that you don't realize. And maybe you do realize it. Maybe you know who you're supposed to be, but you doubt yourself. Everything around you has caused you to doubt yourself. Your traumas, the abuse, the rape, molestation, the lies, people cheating on you, people stealing from you, um, the jobs, the issues with your parents, um, not having your mother there, not having your father there. I feel like all of these issues, because a lot of it is unhealed, it has caused you to doubt yourself and to not realize who you are in on the inside internally, who you were created to be, what power you hold internally. So you don't see it, but this person sees it. Or knows it's, knows it's there or knows the whispers that have been told about you. The, the, the stories that have been told about you. Know what type of legacy you're going to leave. Know what kind of legend you are supposed to be. And they can't afford, they can, but they can't afford to them to allow you to be this person. No matter what, they're pressed and going to find a way to try to stop you, even to your own detriment. The thing is with this, this person was told to do this, but as busy work, like the person that told them to do this didn't even believe in them, whether it's their self, you know, they didn't even believe that they could take you down. They didn't believe that they would be able to find you. They would be able to handle you. They would be able to take you down. They would be able to wipe you out. I feel like they just didn't want to deal with them. And a lot of people may be dealing with somebody who is saying, well... I'm doing this because I was told to do this. But in all actuality, they weren't tur- turd. <laughs> Turds. They won't told to do this. Um, and as well, they're thinking that you, your existence is going to be their demise. When, or their come up. If they're able to take you down, if they're able to capture you, if they're able to reel you in, it's going to be their come up or their demise. And I say this because with the demise part, they feel like if you exist, they basically can't exist. With the come up, if you exist and they take you out, it'll allow them to be on top. So it's like a basically one and the same. You can't exist. Otherwise, they would be in a lesser position. But they don't know that you're supposed to be working together. And it would be better to work together because you're not the enemy. They're looking at you as the enemy. Meanwhile, the enemy is somebody closer than they think. It's their sister, it's their father, it's their mother, it's their spouse, it's their child. It's somebody that they're close to. That they can call, that they can reach out and touch. It's somebody that they're close to that is manipulating them, trying to one-up them, trying to bring them down. By using you as a catalyst. And you may not even know this. But this person is doing everything. To try to stop you. Not knowing that they're basically the puppet. In this situation. But. 
they're being utilized as a tool. Now, what came after that? Because if you watch the series or whatever, you you'll see that um, the whole entire show. Prince Zuko was even risking his life to reach the Avatar. It didn't really matter what anybody said, what information he found out. He was trying to get to the Avatar. He fought other people trying to get to the Avatar. And still never really got to the Avatar. He was always outsmarted, outfought, out something where he had to run. It was something that happened where he was never in the Avatar's grasp. Like he, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't in, it wasn't in, in the plans. It wasn't in the stars. It wasn't written in the stars. It was never meant for Prince Zuko. Now, granted, he did. He did capture him once, right? But that was something that had to happen. So, the Avatar allowed himself to be captured. And maybe that's somebody out there. You allowed some some of the things to happen to you. You allowed people to hurt you. You are trying to help them see the other side of the, the picture. Helping, trying to help them see that they could be better, be, be different. They didn't have to be who they were choosing to be. They didn't have to live up to other people's expectations of who they were. Trying to get them to see that you weren't the enemy. That you could be the friend. That you could be the confidant. But they didn't want to hear that. Right? So even if you had a moment of, okay, I'm going to call a truce. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give in. It didn't last that long. And quickly you became the enemy again. And they were st- relentless. It's like they forgot about whatever conversations y'all had, whatever making up you guys did, whatever peace y'all came to in that specific moment, whatever help y'all gave each other to get out of the bigger problem. Once that bigger problem or once that whatever collaboration endeavor, once that was finished, it's like, okay, you're you're now back to number one enemy I'm gonna do whatever I need to do um, do whatever I can to stop you meanwhile Aang is supposed to be learning to be the avatar he has to learn these disciplines but he's only barely fluent in one his air his air sign right that might be significant it might not be um but he had to learn how to bend water, bend earth, and bend fire. During the whole series, he didn't learn how to do any of these things. <laughs> During the whole series, he doubted himself. Other people doubted him. During the series, instead of him learning to bend the other elements, He was taken over by other Avatar spirits or he had friends to help him in some some type of way. And I feel like maybe that's how life has been or what's been going on Um, where you necessarily haven't been able to find the power or the magic within you. So, God has been sending angels. Maybe your ancestors have been stick standing around you, protecting you, um, preventing people from coming to in coming 
into your energy. Coming against you, weapons forming and prospering. Nothing has been taking you out. It might have brought you down, but it hasn't been taking you out because of this protection. Even if it's outside protection, family, friends, loved ones, whatever, that are utilizing their power and their skills and what they've acquired over the years to help you realize and discover who you are. And with that, I feel like it led me to something else where whoever you are, I feel like you hold all the elements inside of you. Um, And I also, so let's go back before we, so this, Prince Zuko energy, this uh, Aang energy, I feel like it's the like an opposite. So if you are like a, a fire sign, then they will be an air sign. If you are a water sign, that would be an earth sign. Or if your rising is Leo, their moon would be Leo. Um, or if you are north is uh, Virgo, your south would be Pisces. Or their north would be Pisces. Sorry. Um, I feel like it's the similar but opposing energies. So you're, you guys are similar in so many ways. Even if it's your actual story, background, growing up what you want to do, what you're trying to accomplish. I'm not going to necessarily say copycat energy. This may be what it is, but I honestly feel like you guys are so similar. And maybe that's why this person doesn't like you or they trying to take you out because they can't understand how you have accomplished so much or made it through or can forgive people or still love people or have turned your uh major pa- major pain pay you by turning your trauma into triumph. I don't think they fully understand that aspect and so it's basically an underlying issue possibly of jealousy um or just a lack of understanding like how can you talk about this or feel like this when we went through the same thing and this messed me up like this or this, but people handle things differently, internalize things differently, externalize things differently. 2312. I feel like um, they don't understand that concept. And because of that, they kind of despise you for it. They don't like you for it. But if they actually just took a moment and took a step back there, realize y'all are one in the same. If they experience some type of abuse you've experienced that type of some type of abuse excuse me um if you if you were cheated on they were cheated on if you have mom issues they might have dad issues or they may like they might literally have mom issues too but they have the same issues throughout life as you but one of you took it and ran with it a different way. And the other one took it and ran with it another way. Um, all right. Back to um, Aang. So with Aang. I feel like. If this is your energy. You have all the elements inside of you. But you have to activate them. Um, so meaning. I feel like you are capable of maneuvering in all realms fire earth water air um you can you can be in any room you can be in any environment climate um around any type of person
So, mm, a lot of stuff in my head. Okay, so something else. Okay, and this also was like the same type of energy that Prince Zuko energy was showed up in other things that I looked at as well. That obsessive, I need to do this. I need to prove this point, prove why I'm better, prove why I'm the greatest. Um, But also this Aang energy or this, who am I energy? This what am I energy? And trying to get to the root of who you are and what makes you you and the magic that's inside of you. And I feel like because this was very significant and I feel like you have to start with the energy you were born with. The the element you were born with. So if you're earth, you need to get grounded. You need to get in nature. You need to do earthy things. If you're fire, you need to do fiery things. If you're water, you need to do watery things. If you're air, you need to do airy things. Um, I feel like whether that's meditation in the open air, whether that's by water, um, barefoot in dirt, sand, bathing, whatever it is. I feel like you need to harness in on your your actual element, your sun element, your sun sign. Um but I also feel like whoever you are, you have all the elements in your chart. Like where some people have a lot of um, earth or water or air. I feel like you, if you're fire, you have like, so so if you're a fire sign, your sun is fire. But I also feel like maybe your moon is cancer and your rising is Libra and then your north is is um a Taurus and then your other houses is like you have a combination of powerhouses of all the signs um and more so if your son is like um a fire your moon would be an air and then your whatever would be a whatever to it's like a balance thing i feel like you are a balance of all good things but i don't think you know it and maybe it's because of this trauma so maybe there's somebody out here who needs to Maybe that's what it is where you need to go back to your actual element. And so if you're an earth, say your earth sign, you go outside and ground and meditate and you reflect on your past and your childhood traumas, if that's what it is, your teenage traumas, if that's what it is, your adulthood traumas, if that is what it is. And speak to the parts of you that need to heal, release things, let go um, in order to elevate that magic within you so that you can activate your, your other signs. I don't know if that makes sense. 2930. I really feel like this is like that um job situation where uh darkness himself was strolling and rolling trying to find something to do on earth trying to get himself into something and god was like yeah what you doing 
It's like, oh, nothing, just bored, you know, strolling and rolling. Ain't nobody to mess with. God was like, yeah, you know, try Joe. Eh, I ain't trying Joe. You already know he protected. I ain't got time for that. Well, I mean, just try him. All right, man. You say try him. Okay, what can I do to him? You can do everything but this. Don't, nah, you can't kill him, though. No. Mm-mm. But you can do everything else. You ain't gonna kill him, though. No. All right. Bet. I bet you I make him turn on you. Word. Bet that up. Meanwhile, Job, like, I don't even know what's going on. But why is everything around me collapsing? Why is everything, everything, is it my fault? What did I do? Lord, I thought I was, I'm not good enough. I just... Even my friends, like what, what, like what is going on? Just forgot to turn around. I'm like, my job, all right. <sighs> my other kid over there, yeah, you, yeah, you know, young darkness himself. He he was bored, and I knew, I knew what I was doing. It, I ain't even. I'm gonna get you back. Don't even worry. Hold that thought. I'm circling the block. Everything. I know. I told him to say I gave him permission. You know what? And for you holding fast and trying to figure it out, you ain't know what's going on. I get it. You frustrated. You sad. You lost a lot. Kids, wife, money, your animals, your properties. I get it, Joe. My bad. My bad. Here you go. I'm making it up 10 times. Here you go. I feel like this is what this is. I feel like Whatever this is, Zuko, whoever, whether it's a a physical person in the 3D realm or a entity in the 5D spiritual realm, whatever. I feel like they really, whether they got permission or not, I really feel like what they did was just a time waster. Like, Somebody needed somebody out the way, knowing that whatever they was going to do wasn't going to be beneficial. So, understand whoever this is for, whatever you have lost. And trust me, I know some stuff has been shaking like bacon. It's been some stuff going on because I've been experiencing crazy stuff. As I E, I'm doing a recording right now. I can't, like, that's not a, but anyways, whoever this is for, it is about to turn around. It is going to turn around. And this ain't for no particular sign. So when you hear all these, and y'all need to understand that it's not necessarily just signs, it's just people in general groups of people certain people are going to experience certain things in this life in this year in this time frame specifically it don't matter if you a dag on earth sign or a water sign or an air sign or a fire sign a pisces or a sagittarius or a leo or a capricorn or a libra uh, it, it really don't matter it's about the actual person Signs don't make you, it it helps explain you a little bit, but you are the person. There's plenty of people who fit the bed, uh, Scorpio, Scorpion description, and then the other ones who fit the, oh, that's, that's a non-venomous one. You don't have to wear, they just, they're cute. They glow in the dark. And I don't even know what is. I need to look. <laughs> I be need to look up these guys, cause all I think about when I hear Scorpio is Scorpion. But let's go to Virgo, and I think Virgo was a dag on a donkey before a virgin. So we could go with both. Okay, we got donkeys. There's. Donkeys and then there's jackasses. Let's go with the virgin. There's virgins and then there's thoughts. (laughs) (coughs) 
I'm joking. Who say they virgins? <laughs> Shoot, Libras. Most of them don't even be balanced. Get their sign. It's a scale. It doesn't sometimes, you know, it's just human nature. Everything ain't got to be some, a big Zodiac thing. Now, meanwhile, some stuff do be, I'm just saying, but in this aspect, in a lot of my videos, it's a character thing. It's a person thing. So if you know that you an air sign, but you've been the one obsessive and compulsive and lying and doing anything and everything to take down this uh, earth sign or this water sign, then you know you Prince Zuko. You, you know you need to chill out and you need some help. Because you're working against yourself. If you know that you ain't been doing nothing, you've been minding your business, you've been on the outside trying to figure out what, what's going on, how to save people, how to rebuild, how to do this, and you're a fire sign, well, you still know you, you ong, ang, whatever. And you're not operating in this Prince Zuko energy, even though he's a firebender. You're operating in the air energy, balancing things, bringing truth, bringing light, making things light, airing things out. So when y'all, and, and that's another thing, when y'all listen to these readings and other people, um, just to make sure you're using your discernment, you're not attributing everything to you because everything is not meant for you. Um... And I was going to say something else, but it quickly went out my head. Quickly. Quickly. Once again, Psalms 138, 139, and 140, 327, 37, 32. Interesting. All those numbers. 327, 37, 32. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and stop this because... Uh, Luckily, it's not that big. See if we can get this uploaded. Um, yeah, that's it. I think. Um, I don't know. Tap in whoever you are. Tap into yourself. Go within. Um, stop doubting yourself. Stop listening to the outside voices. Who tell you you can't or who do not pour into you if you have people around you who are telling you you can appreciate those people give back to those people those people who support you those people who fight the battles with you go ahead and do that you can't be the only one fighting the battle if you are the only one out there and you're fighting a battle and you know you are not equipped internally because you're not being honest with yourself you can need to go ahead and sit down somewhere if you out there fighting other people's battles and they're not even standing up to fight their own battle. You need to go down, sit down so 